What's up, guys? This is Pete, PeteIsaac.com. Hope you guys are doing good. And I have a mustache and a beard because I haven't shaved because I was away for about five days learning and filling my brain in with knowledge and and stuff like that and just really dialing into the business side of things with Crank and, you know, personal, like where... There's just a lot of questions that go through your head when you go to these things and it really just... Um, it's to make to make things better, um, and uh, I really see the direction that I'm going to move into, and I know that it's going to be for the best, even though it's going to be a little tough with changing and stuff like that. But it's going to be it's going to be fantastic. Um, with that said, I uh, I was going to say Irene, Sandy's coming. All right, stay inside. As as much as people are like, some people are like, oh, it's fake, it's not coming. It's like you know what, it's coming. Okay, it's coming. So, stay inside. Even if it's not that bad, you're better off staying inside. Spend time. If it's now is the time to spend time with your family, do it. All right? Do it. Because what's the worst that's going to happen? You know? Maybe we get stuck in the house. There's not going to be power. This is going to be where real people's feelings come out, I think. A lot of people's emotions. Usually during this time, a lot of things um, go through your brain. Maybe It goes through my brain. I don't know, maybe not yours. Maybe some people are just thinking about, like, hey... Monday Night Football's on. I don't, I'm not thinking that way. Um, even though it is the 49ers. So I might think like that a little bit. But um, I did a little exercise this weekend. Sorry, I got off track. Did a little exercise this weekend, and I think, and I'm actually having all my crank coaches do it. And to be honest with you, I think everyone should do it. We went to uh, a mentorship, and there was a coach, really good presentation, came out and talked about, you know, What's your character? You know, who are you as a person? No matter what we do and, and what your goals are and what it is, long-term, short-term, who are you as a person? What were you? What type of mark have you left on this planet? For some people, they don't give a shit about this stuff. But that just shows you maybe your character. So I have all my coaches writing a eulogy. So if you were to die today, what would they say tomorrow about you? What things would someone step up in front of as whatever amount of people are going to be at your funeral? Hard, hardest thing to think about. And what would they say about you? Here lies the body of so-and-so. He or she was so-and-so. He or she did so-and-so. It makes you really sit back and think about like, where's your life going? Where are you going in life? Is, did you do what you were supposed to do? Or are you just moving along with the trend, just moving along with, like, the flow of everyday life? It makes me think every day, like, why, why was I here? Why am I put here? And there's always little things that uh, go through your brain that are materialistic, like money and, you know, I want this and I want that and I want this. That's what a lot of people's goal boards are on. Um, goal boards are, are filled with because, you know, it, it really does give you a sense of success and a sense of um, achievement when you do hit those things. And it gives you a drive. But it, if all that stuff, if you reach all of those things... But everything you did in between didn't fill in good stuff for your eulogy? What type of person are you? It's like, yeah, I had a goal to make so-and-so amount of money. But if you went out and just ripped people off or just weren't a good person doing that, this doesn't count in my book. You don't have to listen to me. But this is just my opinion, okay? If I wanted a house that looked like, there you go, because I have stuff everywhere. So if I had a house that looks like this, but I did wrong, like 35 things wrong just to get this house, because I didn't care, I didn't give, I didn't, I didn't do anything good to get this house, that doesn't count in my goal board. You know what I mean? And I always think about, it's like, oh, how come I don't hit this 
I'm not gonna have this goal, I'm not gonna have this, I'm not gonna hit this stuff, and, you know, why? I don't know. Like, why do I want these things? But if I, if I get these things, and I did it the wrong way, I really don't want those things. I'd rather have the other things, like family. Right here. This is my goal board. It never leaves me. Crank. Five, six, sevens. Dedication. Hard work. My life. Up here. My brother. Girlfriend. This is my goal board. Missions. That's what counts. Not, not what, what did I make? Not what did I do? You know? I'm still writing mine. And I think you guys should write yours. It'll really define who you are as a person. And you really see deep down inside what, what type of character you are. Peace out.